All right, welcome everybody to Open House, Bay Middle School, sixth grade, Rangelovic Block, 2020, 2021 school year. Get excited. We are really excited about this school year. We've got a lot of plans and preparation, and it's going to be a great year. In fact, today's a great day to be a rocket. This year is a great year to be a rocket. As we go through this, you're going to get a chance to hear from your teachers and staff. If you have any questions, please email me at aaron.ereditario of bayschoolsohio.org. By the way, my name is Aaron Ereditario. I work here as principal at Bay Middle School. Please send those questions or clarifications my way. At the end of this, we'll get to those and be able to answer them after hearing from all the teachers and all the staff members this morning. While you're writing that down or checking it out, a couple of reminders tomorrow, we have material distribution, meaning students, parents can pick up textbooks, books, notebooks, anything that we have to give you from school so that you're ready on Tuesday, September 1st for learning and for school. Between 9 and 11 at the main doors, you can pull up and get those materials. We'll bring it to you. Additionally, if you need a Chromebook, we'll have a second station after getting your materials that you can pull up to and grab a Chromebook. So that's tomorrow between 9 and 11. If you're working and you can't make it, you can also come between 4 and 6 p.m. and pick up both of those things, the materials and the Chromebook then. Also want to highlight that on Monday, August 31st, between 10 and 11.30, we're going to have a test run with students and teachers, a meet and greet. 10 o'clock will be first period, 10.15 second period, and we'll go through 15 minutes per class for half an hour to get to know your teachers, students, and your classmates. Get into Google Classroom, learn more about how this is going to work, and it'll be a little trial run for us in Zoom before we get to school on Tuesday. Again, get excited. Now, you're probably wondering, where are those Zoom links? What are you talking about? Well, tomorrow, Friday, August 28th, keep an eye out. Parents and students will email you both for your schedules. It'll look similar to this, to where it has the period, it has the class, the teacher, and the Zoom link. This is the Zoom link that you will use to access that trial run, that meet and greet on Monday, and class on Tuesday. In fact, you'll use this link for class all 180 days of school. So keep an eye out for that tomorrow, and that'll be coming your way. Today, you're gonna get a chance to hear from your sixth grade teachers. We're gonna learn about what you're gonna learn, what you're gonna do, how things are gonna work, and how we're gonna set up communication and make sure we're on the same page this year. Now, we are starting in e-learning, but I want everybody to know we have a lot of plans in place for when we're in person. Between the hallways, the restrooms, arrival, dismissal, drinking fountains, all that, we have great plans and we're ready. However, we're starting in e-learning and the focus today is on being ready for e-learning Tuesday, September 1st. So you're going to hear and we're going to put our energy in open house into that. Before I hand it over to Mr. Illenberger, Mr. I, who will be getting us started, there's been some questions about music and I just wanna highlight it a little bit. We are gonna have music one day a week in sixth grade for a double period. Instead of going to your specials classes, you'll be going to your music class and it's on the B day. We go A, B, C, D, E. Here's an example of September. So sixth graders, you'll have music on the second day of school, September 2nd, Wednesday, and then subsequently you'll have it on Thursday the 10th, 17th, and 24th, and it'll follow a wheel, A, B, C, D, E, A, B, C, D, E, A, B, C, D, E. We'll put this out for you, we'll put the whole year out there for you, but on, two, on Wednesday, September 2nd, you can plan on having music, and we will be hearing from Mr. Awad, Mrs. Singler, and Mr. Novak a little bit later today. At this time, I would like to introduce the Rangelovic block and the science teacher extraordinaire, Mr. Illenberger. <laughs> well, thank you for those kind words, Mr. Redditero. Well, hey, welcome everyone to our first ever sixth grade virtual open house. It's awesome to see it almost seems like a kid's open house. Look at all those wonderful faces out there. But thanks for joining us today. Uh, my name is Brent Illenberger, or many people call me Mr. I. 
Uh, and it's great to see new families out there. It looks, it, I see some familiar families and I even see some people out there that I think I graduated with from uh, Bay High School who now have kids in sixth grade. So that's pretty cool as well. Uh, we got a couple of goals for you today. Number one is obviously to introduce ourselves to get familiar with uh, each of us. Uh, the second goal is to learn a little bit about the subject that we'll be doing this year. Uh, number three uh, will be about the e-learning process and then we'll take any of your questions at the end. So I think it'd be an awesome way to start this off by uh, taking a look at uh, the teaching staff for this school year. So there are all our wonderful sixth grade photos when we were at, uh, in school. Uh, we'll see if you can figure out who's who. I know I'm probably the toughest one to figure out, but uh, let me introduce them really fast. So our starting lineup here, we'll begin with our, our great mathematician who can give the famous Archimedes a run for their money. And uh, those are multiplication facts, like the back of her hand, and that would be Mrs. Hill, as you can see from the uh, arrow there in the upper right corner. Next, we have a wonderful lady who is definitely not as old as the history she teaches, and that would be Mrs. Renjelovic, our social studies teacher in the upper left, followed next by a young lady who she, well, she always wants us to tell us that she's young. Uh, she was born, I, th I think she was born when I was in Bay High School, actually. She grew up at a farm and is the master of thesis statements and literary terms, the one and only Mrs. Hunt in the bottom right corner. And then we have two additional wonderful people that will be helping us out this year as well that are here to talk today. Uh, Mrs. Linda Williams, our intervention specialist, and Mrs. Sandy Gase, who is our technology master, who you can see in the bottom middle there. Okay. So there's our crew, uh, and you'll hear more from them later on. Uh, if you haven't learned about our typical sixth grade schedule, this is what it's going to look like uh, during the e-learning process. So every class period will be 45 minutes long. Uh, it will be important that you uh, are logged on before the start time, and Ms. Rangel will go through that in a few minutes here. But as you can see, every class will be 45 minutes with a 15-minute break uh, for a restroom break or a food break or just to stretch those muscles out, do a little yoga maybe as well. Uh, before moving on to the next class period. Uh, and then obviously we'll have a lunch thrown in there in the middle and then the school day will end at two o'clock. So uh, very cool, very excited. Uh, the BMS and Mr. Redditario and all the staff here have really worked hard to prepare uh, for this moment. So we're super excited to uh, get the school year off and running. So I'm gonna turn it over to uh, Mrs. Rangelovic to teach you more a little bit about the e-learning process. Good afternoon, everybody. We are so excited um, to see you, even if it is virtually. We're going to dive into our subject areas, but I know everyone's big question at the start of this year is, what is e-learning going to look like? And we've spent the whole week and part of the summer training on how to give you the best experience that we can. So for e-learning, you are to report to your scheduled class daily. Attendance is taken and you're going to be marked absent if you're not there. The expectation is you're there and you're there the entire 45 minutes. Students must have their full name and video on and audio muted. We're not going to admit students we don't know. We want to keep this classroom very secure. So um, it is going to be set up that you have to log in under your Bay account. So if you're like using mom or dad's phone or whatever, make sure you're logged in under Bay. If you put your mom's name in or some funny name in, we're not gonna let you in the classroom. We've gotta keep our classroom secure. Just like we wouldn't let a stranger walk into our, our, through our doors, we're not gonna let it happen virtually either. Um, wait for the teacher to admit you. Don't log off. We are human too. It might take us a couple of minutes to get started and going. Don't log in and then two minutes later be like, they never came, class is over. Give us a little bit of time, just like we'll give you some time. School rules still apply. Always be kind and mindful of what you say. When you do log in, you know, we will be live teaching like we are now, but we have the ability to still do group work and individual work. So I might pair you up with somebody and that's called breakout rooms where you would just Zoom with one person I would, or two people, I'd put you in a breakout room. And as a teacher, I can pop into the breakout rooms and I time how long breakout rooms last. So I might say, hey, go meet with your partner for two minutes and come back and I'll show you who the partner is and all of a sudden it'll just be you and your partner on the screen. Sometimes we'll put you in a breakout room by yourself and that'll be like independent work time. Like if you were working in class at your desk by yourself, 
you have the ability when you're in a breakout room to hit, I have a question and I get a message that says so-and-so has a question and I can hop into your breakout room. It's like if I was walking up to your desk. So even though this is e-learning, it's still gonna be whole class instruction, group work, and individual work. We have all that ability. So it's, it's going to be a very different experience from last year, but we're trying to make it as similar to being in the classroom that we can, okay? With that said, affirmations as we move into distance learning. The best I can do is my best. How human of me to feel nervous about trying something new. We are nervous too. You know, so we ask for your patience as we're learning this new technology. I will give myself the same grace I give others. Sometimes we are harder on ourselves than we are other people. It's okay, we're in this together. I may not be able to control the situation, but I have control over my attitude. You know, come ready to learn. This is only temporary. I can do difficult things. I don't have to have it all figured out to move forward. We don't have it all figured out. Um, we're, we're working on it, but it's something new every day. And I will make mistakes and that's okay. And that applies to not just the students, but also to your teachers and also to the parents. So um, we're in this together and we just need to understand we're all doing our best and we're here to support each other. Okay, and I'm going to turn it over to Mrs. Hill. Mrs. Hill, I think you're muted. Okay, I got distracted. I was looking through all the students' faces. Am I still here and good? Yeah, you're fine. Okay, perfect. Um, I am the sixth grade math teacher at Bay Middle School. So you will all have me for math class this year. Um, this year is a really exciting year for me. Um, we adopted a new textbook. So this year is the first year that we're doing a new, correct, uh, a new math curriculum. Um, this morning, I just filmed a video of myself going through the textbook and I can show you now. Uh-oh. It goes. Maybe. <laughs> Um, it's huge ability to write right in your workbook um, and in class we'll be doing some a combination of you'll be writing in your workbook and then I'll also have Google Slides that you'll have to write and send back and, and um, Pear Deck is the name of the program we'll be using um, so it's the first year of this new math program um, seventh and eighth grades using it also so sixth grade is what we'll call your springboard or your launch year into Carnegie learning Outside of the math class, that's the scheduled math time on your schedule. Um, the expectation is that you'll be working about 15 to 20 minutes a day. I'm willing to bet that majority of you have used Study Island in fifth grade, and that's what we're gonna start with in the first couple of weeks. Um, so you'll be logging into Study Island. The first assignment is a diagnostic math assignment that's gonna sort out all the strengths and areas of growth for you so I can really get to know you. Um, <clears throat> there's a tool called Mathia. It's part of our online textbook. It's actually an instructional tool that we'll actually dive into next week. Um, I'm really excited to share that with you. Um, as I said before, I spent this making a, uh, a walkthrough textbook. I just emailed it to all of your parents. So it's five minutes long. It'll go through our textbook and where they can find helpful resources. So make sure you encourage your parents to do their homework before you even start school um, and, and they can see some of the resources there. You done? I think that's my last slide. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> this is hot. You are up with language arts. Hello. So Brangelovic, can you go to the next slide? Thanks. All right, so I am Mrs. Hunt. I will be teaching language arts, and I just was going to introduce myself a little bit. This is my 12th year teaching at Bay Middle School. I taught social studies and language arts in sixth and seventh grade. Um, I went to the University of Akron for my undergrad, and my graduate degree is from Cleveland State in gifted education. So as you can see from these pictures, 
Um, I have two little boys, Carter and Sawyer. Sawyer's three and Carter turned one on Sunday. And we have two labs as well, Scout and Finn. So um, like Mr. I said, I grew up in the country. We live out in the country now. So my life is full of dirt and dinos and lots of tractors and trucks. So that's a little bit about me. And then for my classroom, in sixth grade language arts, we really focus on nonfiction. So there's a big jump from fifth to sixth grade in analyzing and um, thinking about why the author did what they did or why would they include this word. So we focus on nonfiction, but we also read all the different fiction genres. We'll do a quarterly reading project. So by the end of the year, we'll have been exposed to all the reading genres. And then we go over the three types of writing and we all do grammar when we do writing as well. So if you look for homework, we have the quarterly reading projects and then still got to kind of figure out how we're doing it with e-learning, but we'll do like a weekly article over nonfiction. And then for grading, I take all of our assignments and tasks that we do and I broke them into categories. Um, and I listed those categories and you'll see them on PowerSchool. It's really not to overwhelm you, it's to help you figure out where your strengths are and where your weaknesses are. Because we continue to visit those skills throughout the year. So you might have a B in class and you have A when you're working with fiction and you still have some work you need to do with nonfiction. So it just kind of helps you figure out your strengths and weaknesses. And then the next graphic just kind of shows how important it is for reading and um, I, like I said, I'm going to try and expose you guys to all kinds of different books. If you need help with book, book suggestions, I am here to help. I so far have not found a book that somebody doesn't like. And with that, I'm passing the baton on to Mr. I. <laughs> I can go to the next one. All right, so yeah, my name is Brent Tillenberger, Mr. I. Um, just a couple things about myself. Uh, first of all, I've been teaching here at uh, Bay Middle School for 24 years. Uh, 23 years in science, which is unbelievable to think about how the time flies. Uh, I live in Avon Lake, and you can see my little family photo in the middle there with my wife, three kids, and our new addition that happened during the quarantine time, our, our dog Indy that uh, we picked up uh, in Indiana. So I guess Indy's a suitable name uh, for that dog. I uh, love Star Wars. Uh, obviously, like I said earlier, I went to Bay High School, graduated in 1992 and then attended Miami University and Cleveland State for my undergraduate and graduate uh, degrees. Uh, love Cedar Point, love the Mythbusters. I'm a big part of this Space STEM Academy, been, been with it since the very beginning. And uh, you know, my free time, I love doing science experiments with explosives, like you can see in the middle there. Um, love playing basketball, love playing tennis, and you know, uh, going on hikes. And if you haven't seen my classroom before, I probably have about 1,000 or more Pez dispensers all throughout the room. So. Uh, there's a little bit about me. Um, in terms of science this year, yeah, there you go. There's a great picture of me. There's my superhero costume. So teacher by day, superhero by night. Um, you know, science curriculum this year, we start with science inquiry, um, which is just sort of how science is done and looking at all the different process skills like observing, inferring, and classifying. And then we move into our three main units, uh, cells, which is very cool, where we utilize microscopes and look at really, really tiny, tiny stuff. Uh, matter in motion is uh, with chemistry and roller coasters. And then we also have a rocks and minerals and soil unit as well. Uh, through the e-learning, we'll go through Google Classroom a lot. Uh, I am gonna try to structure the best I can by you know, trying to make it as similar as possible to the regular classroom. So we'll still be trying to do experiments, um, collecting data, analyzing things, uh, which is basically an inquiry-based uh, approach where you're taking responsibility for the learning and we're not just reading stuff out of a, a textbook here. Um, We'll do digital interactive notebooks, which will be found on Google Classroom, which I'll send to you. So if you don't see too much science in your, uh, in your bag that you pick up tomorrow, uh, you'll probably understand the reason why, because everything will be going through digitally, trying to cut down on the, the paper trail this year a little bit. And then again, like Ms. Rangelvic said, we'll do a lot of breakout rooms uh, with different types of groups. Um, you know, flip classroom learning is where we watch videos at home, and then we build upon them with awesome class activities when you, when you get here. Um, and then we'll also try to incorporate some extra credit that maybe you can do at home 
and then showcase through maybe some uh, different types of videos as well. So it's going to be action packed. I'm super excited. Uh, it's going to be an awesome year and uh, I'm looking forward to meeting each and every one of you uh, in the next couple of days. So over to Mr. Rangelovic. Hey, um, I'm next. Um, Angela Rangelovic, I've been teaching, I kind of lose track. Um, I started in, in Bay in sixth grade in 1999. I did take off a total of three years when I had my children. Um, I have three wonderful kids. I have a daughter who is entering seventh grade. So as a parent, I know what it was like to survive sixth grade. Um, and I'm not gonna lie, it was a fun year. We had some interesting times. Um, Luca is my youngest, he just turned nine. He will be going into third. And then I have my middle child, Adriana, will be starting middle school um, in fifth grade. I've got two dogs that are a little bit spoiled. Not gonna lie, you can see. And we have two cats as well. Um, my degree is in elementary education, one through eight. I have taught social studies in all the years I've been in Bay, except for one, I did all language arts. But I've done language arts and social studies. I think I taught language arts 14 years and I did math for about three years as well. Okay, so that's me. That's just a little funny comic. Oops, hold on, having some issues. So four social studies this year. Topics. For some reason, my screen isn't liking me. Um, Arts, we're gonna start with geography, which is a nice kind of review, but it's also the basis to everything we do. Um, we're gonna do economics, government, prehistory, and we get into the fun stuff. Mesopotamia, ancient Egypt, China, India, and the world religions. I say my content makes my job easy. This is this is some fun stuff to learn about and it's some fun stuff to teach. Um, classroom environment. I've always had what I call a blended classroom, which has suited me well for e-learning. I am a firm believer in um, online activities, on the computer, things like that, but I'm also a firm believer in paper and pencil. Everybody learns differently, everyone learns better different ways so we're trying i try to combine the two um we will be doing stuff online and we'll be doing stuff paper and pencil um the retake policy mr i sent home a packet and i'm not going to go over that he emailed a packet to everybody i think all of our retake and grading policies are in our packet um online textbook this is the first year that your student will have an online textbook this is our third year having it in social studies. And what is nice is kind of like the math, we are the sounding board. So seventh grade uses the same company, it's the same process for an online textbook. And then I know eighth grade science also uses an online textbook. The key features to an online textbook is we have embedded videos and interactive maps and online note taking, all included. My favorite feature, there is a read aloud feature. And I highly recommend, I will be walking your students how to use it. Even the strongest readers, I highly recommend sometimes using that read aloud feature because when you're learning names like Tutankhamun and Hatchesit, all these other really tough words, it's nice just to hit it to hear how it sounds properly. Um, and then the textbook login, we will, I will be walking through with your students. The only thing I'm going to remind you as parents, um, if you are struggling with the textbook to work at home, you do have to allow pop-ups. If you don't allow pop-ups, it's, it's not going to work. That is always our number one issue. Um, I'm really looking forward to having a fun year. I can't wait to meet the students. And I'm going to turn that over now to Mrs. Well, Mrs. Williams. There we go. Hi, everyone. I'm Mrs. Williams. Um, some of you will see me in some of the classes. I'll be working in Mrs. Rangelovic's class, Mrs. Hill's class, and I think that's it this year. Um, if you remember Mrs. Flynn from fifth grade, that's what I do in sixth grade. So um, I will also be teaching some Wilson reading classes. And this is my fourth year in Bay schools. Like Mrs. Rangelovic, I think I'm on like year 20 four or 25 for my whole career. I've taught every grade from K to 12 um, in intervention with students. And I am also a day, Bay parent. I live in Bay. I have a daughter that goes to Bowling Green. 
and I have twin boys that are in 10th grade at the high school who also had uh, Mr. I, Mrs. Rangelovic, and Mrs. Hunt. <laughs> so not only did they have to put up with my boys, now they have to put up with me. <laughs> um, but I'll be around and I love to help anybody, so let me know if you need anything. Sorry. Mrs. Gase, you are up next. Hi, everybody. Well, I'd like to introduce you to my family here. Folks, this is my family. My husband and I have two remarkable boys and we have a rescue pup. A little bit about myself, I went to Bowling Green State University. I got my master's from Baldwin Wallace. I love school. Um, and I've been in the base school system for, I can see Mrs. Brandy Jellin has a little trouble there. I've been with the base school since 1985. I've worked with K through eight, and I've also had a stint where I actually just worked with teachers. I have enjoyed every minute of it. Let's move to the next slide. And I've got a quote for you. A new school year means new beginnings, new adventures, new friendships, and new challenges. And I'm looking forward to working with you and your family and the fabulous team that I have landed with. We can do hard things together. On the next slide, I have a little collage that I, oops, standard, sorry, important. We were, we were gonna be using um, the ITSY standards and here's a quick look at what they look like. Now we'll move on to a collage that's gonna show you a little bit of what the first week are gonna look like. We have a lot of new tools that we'll be working with. And your team has tasked me with, at first, taking a really deep dive into Zoom and all the wonderful things it can do. Next up, we're going to make some virtual lockers so I can learn a little bit about you and your interest. And you can use this as a tool to kind of like hyperlink favorite websites or sites that you need so that you can go to them instantaneously. You can see that we'll be looking a lot with movies. That's a big theme this year. So Flipgrid is a, a movie uh, making uh, site where you can communicate with your teachers. We'll take a look at that. We'll be doing some cartooning. Oh, I can't wait to get to know you guys. Can we move on to the next slide, please? And parents, how can you help? We'll just reinforce the need to use Zoom and other tools to boost learning and minimize distraction. Think before you click and behave with integrity. Next slide, please. And yes, if you've been in my classroom, I'm working on making it into a museum. So I have some old typewriters and other equipment. We'll take a look at those. So history of computing, that's a lot of fun to learn about. We'll be diving into that too. Now folks, time is your most precious resource and I'm excited. We have a new keyboarding program. I searched all over for something that would work with this e-learning. And on the next slide, I want you to take a look at Kaz typing. And thanks to Kaz, I wrote to them and I asked if I could actually do a little screencast of a, their big test. Take a look at this. It is fabulous. Basically, they have five sentences. And when you're typing the sentences, they're symmetrical with your fingers so that like if you're typing keys on your right hand and using your left hand too, it's the, basically the same keys. And they have ensured me that we are going to learn typing in lightning speed. Well, when I looked at it, we don't have that much time to work in class. So what I've done is I've taken this program and I wanna charge you with looking at it and doing your best in typing. Every one of you will have the opportunity to keep your account for an entire year. I think you are going to do an amazing job. And I think that that payback is gonna be huge. Next up, computational thinking. Decomposition, pattern recognition, algorithms and abstraction. We'll be working with these skills. How will we be doing it? We'll be using coding. So let's take a look at the next slide. And with our coding program, we have a lot of possibilities. And what I'd like to do is give you guys some choices on what you want to do. If you look at the four basic components of, of coding, you can use all kinds of different websites. You can use Scratch. Um, you can look at a variety of different applications to learn coding. So we're gonna have some choices. Next up. 
digital citizenship. And the bottom left is actually a student project, so it's kind of fun and exciting. We'll be using Powtoons to make some cartoons if you choose, but I'll also give you some other options. We're going to look at things like what's trending, and we'll talk about um, other components of internet safety. So thank you so much for listening to this speech. I can't wait to see you all in school and on Zoom next week. Look forward to seeing you on Monday. Thank you. Mr. Ereditario, we're gonna turn this over to you. All right, I do have a couple questions that came in I'd like to ask, but before we do, I think I saw Mr. Awad, Mrs. Singler, Mr. Novak join us. Uh, I wanted to take a, a second and hear from the music teachers. All right, well, good afternoon, everybody. Thank you, Mr. Editario and all the other sixth grade teachers. We're really excited to get to work with all the kids that are here again this year, whether it's in band, orchestra, or choir. So we're looking forward to getting to see you. Uh, before I give you a little overview of what music's gonna look like this year, um, I wanna introduce you to all the teachers. Uh, those of you that I had last year, again, I'm Mr. Wad, and I look forward to getting to see you again in band. Uh, we have Mrs. Singler from Strings. You'll get to see her again this year, Ms. Singler. Can you say hi so everybody can see you? Hi, everybody. Uh, we also have, we're lucky this year, we have a new choir teacher. Uh, Mr. Novak has joined our music staff this year, and we're really excited to have him with us. So, Mr. Novak, can you introduce yourself there? Hi, everyone. Good to see you all. So, we're looking forward to getting to work with all of you again this year, but as with everything else, it's gonna be a little bit different than normal. Uh, this year, we're gonna only get to see you once a week, so it's gonna be a little bit different. And you looked at the schedule probably a little bit earlier in this presentation, but what you need to know is when do you need to be in music class? That's probably the most important thing right now, so that way we can get to see you at those times. So music's actually on a little bit of a rotation. Uh, I think they have a calendar that's gonna go out to you that kind of looks it's color coded to show you which days of the week you are, and it's going to be on rotation. So we'll actually see the sixth graders the first time on Wednesday, September 2nd. That will be our day, and on your schedule when you see it, you're gonna come to class for music. You'll follow down your schedule, and you'll see it on there a couple times, and that is actually correct. You wanna go to those classes twice in the day because you're gonna go to two periods and it's gonna be at a time so you won't be in your other specials classes during that time of the week. So that's the most important thing. So check out that information, follow along those schedules so that you can get in class because since we'll only get to see you once a week, we wanna make sure that we have you there. The other thing that we want to point out to you is that we want you to be as safe as possible. Obviously in the e-learning environment, we're going to try to put, you're gonna be able to play at home. We just find a spot that you can do your your thing musically so that way you are able to do that but when we come in class we have put some protocols in place as well we all have a handbook that you can check out everything music related so please check that out all the teachers gonna have it on Google classroom we'll all email that out to you as well but that has information on some things that we're gonna do to help keep you as safe as possible and with that being said we still want you to have an awesome experience in music and what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna do as much as we can, whether it's gonna be virtual performances or anything else, we're gonna do what we can and what we're able to do at the time. And that'll keep evolving throughout the school year. So we're gonna try to put those things in place, but get ready, we're looking forward to seeing you. If you have any questions, parents, kids along the way, feel free to contact your music teacher. Uh, all our very information should be on the school website and it's gonna be in Google Classroom as well. But we look forward to seeing you next week online, hopefully in person at some point. But thanks for the time, everybody. Take care. Thanks, can't wait to see you. We're seeing you all. Thanks, Mr. Wad, Mrs. Singler, Mr. Novak. I did have one question come in uh, for sixth grade teachers. Uh, how important is it to have all the supplies on the list ready for day one, especially considering a remote start? Well, <laughs> you know, I have three children and two of them are going to be in middle school next year. And that was a very popular question on I Live in Independence on the Parents of Independence page. Um, because I don't know how my kids would be able to carry everything. And that was everybody's concern. I have that concern as well. You don't need everything. 
I mean, most of what we ask for is for you to replenish through the year. I would say bring a folder for sure, writing utensils. When we do go to live e-learning, bring as little as possible really that first day. Um, writing utensils and folders. And then we will talk to your students and like, here's what we expect you to bring to school, okay? Um, we understand, you know, we're not doing the lockers and all that stuff and we're gonna minimize, minimize it. You still need those supplies for home for sure, especially during the e-learning process. And then um, throughout the year, we'll say, okay, you're gonna need to bring this in, you're gonna need to bring this. But I would say folders, writing utensils are your big things. And I'll just jump in real quick. So we are starting with math curriculum on Wednesday. So calculator for math class will definitely help you out. If not, you've got your head calculator and that always works too, but it will make it a little easier for you. But I, I also just wanna emphasize, and again, because I know my children are very nervous about going back. You know, if they come and they don't have something, we understand. You know, especially that first week, we understand. Just ease their anxiety about if they forgot something at home or they were supposed to bring something and they didn't. We understand this is a new situation and we will extend them the same grace that we hope you extend us as we learn technology. All right, great. Thank you, Mrs. Rangelovic, Mrs. Hill, for those very kind answers. So pencil, pa pa pens, paper folders, and in math, a calculator. Besides that, we'll get you caught up. No problem. Parents, students, if you have questions, reach out to your teachers, reach out to myself. We will get back to you. We're looking forward to a terrific year at Bay Middle School. Again, today's a great day to be a Rocket. This year is a great year to be a Rocket. Have a great day, and we'll see you soon.